Maya. I'm so glad you're here. I am T.L. Jolly. And today I have a program planned for you. And guess what? We're going to use these yummy gumdrops. And also, oh yeah, these toothpicks right here. And you'll find both of those supplies in your project bag. Now, let me explain what we're going to do today. We are going to eat all these yummy gumdrops. Nom, 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 nom. But don't do it yet because I haven't finished explaining. Okay, so after we eat the yummy gumdrops, our teeth will be all sticky and we'll have to get a toothpick and we'll have to pick all of the leftover sticky candy out of our Jolly. teeth. Oh, oh, you know what? <laughs> uh, that sounds like Holly. Um, you might not want to, you know, mention that I was here or anything because, well, she gets a little jealous with the whole chief elf. I get a program thing, so um, if you don't mind, just just don't Jolly. mention it. Oh, oops! Where I gotta go. You? I gotta go. Jolly. Jolly. Hey guys, I'm sorry that I'm late, but I was trying to find my friend Jolly, who I thought would want to help me. I'm Chief Elf, Holly, and I'm going to teach you today how to use these gumdrops and these toothpicks to make a gumdrop Christmas tree. Yes, so you'll find all the supplies you need down in your project bag. Now, the thing about this project is there's no really right way to do it, or even a very wrong way. The most important thing to remember is you need a firm foundation, a solid base for your tree. So we are going to make sure that the bottom of our tree is strong and sturdy. I'm going to show you two different ways to build the strong and sturdy base. And then I'm just going to build up and you guys are gonna watch me and then you'll be inspired to build up in any way that you want to. Now your project bag has 24 gumdrops and 40 toothpicks. But the two trees I'm gonna to build today only use a few gumdrops each and a handful of toothpicks each. So just imagine what you'll be able to build with all of your supplies. All right, let's check out these bases. All right, so I have built two different kind of bases to show you examples of how you can start the bottom of your gumdrop Christmas tree. You'll see this one, it kind of looks like a snowflake. It has a central gumdrop and then toothpicks coming out with gumdrops at the end. And then the one next to it is made up a bunch of what? That's right, triangles. Triangles are a very strong shape. So this will be a very strong gumdrop Christmas tree. The most important thing to remember now that you've built these solid bases is that as Christmas trees go up, 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 do they stay the same size as they're going up, up, up? No, they start to taper because Christmas trees are conifers. They are cone shaped. So remember, our next layer for each of these needs to be smaller. So we'll use fewer gumdrops and fewer toothpicks. So let's see what we can build. All right, I've got two pretty good looking gumdrop Christmas trees, but I noticed something after I finished building. This one is pretty sturdy, that's the triangle one. But this one, it's a little wobbly. So you know what I can do to fix it? You're exactly right. We just need to add a few more toothpicks. So maybe I connect those and maybe I connect, you think connecting these two purple ones? Let's see, if we do just a few, it may be enough. Let's see. Hmm. That looks pretty sturdy to me, but if I wanted to make it stronger, I could just add more and more toothpicks. And you can do the same thing when you're designing yours. Now, 
if you want to go ahead and make this yourself right this minute, you can totally do it. Or, you know what you could do? You could listen to me tell you about another super Holly. easy one. Wait, did you hear that? Holly. That sounds like my assistant, Jolly. I had been looking for her before. I knew she wanted to help. Let me go get her. Hold Holly. on. I'll be right back. Hiya again, it's Jolly. And guess what? That was me calling Holly away. And do you know why I called Holly away? It's because I have a very special treat for you. And it's called Jokes with Jolly. That's me. All right, I am going to tell you a funny, funny, funny joke. Are you ready? Okay, why, <laughs> why did the elf put his bed in the fireplace? Did you give up? He put his bed in the fireplace because he wanted to sleep like a log. <laughs> and that's so funny. He wanted to sleep like a log, so he got into the fireplace. Jolly. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, I hear Holly, so I have to go. Bye ya. Where did that elf go? She is so eager to help, but then she just disappears. Well, that's all right. I will show her later how to build a Christmas tree out of <gasps> these right here. Do you know what these are? No, it's not a book, but that is a good guess. These are Christmas cards. Holiday cards are great for building because look, what does this shape look like already? <gasps> That's right, a triangle. So you can just take a few Christmas cards <gasps> and open them up to be their little triangle tent selves. Very nice. And then to do the next layer, you know what you need to do? Oh, lay them flat. So the bottom ones have to be close enough together. Whoa. So you can lay some flat ones on top. And then once you do that, guess what you can do again? That's right, this time we'll just do two triangle ones. The bottom had three. The middle layer has two, because remember, we're getting smaller as we go up. Then what do we need? A flat one. And then at the very tippy top, just one. Now, you can make it wider on the bottom if you have a lot of Christmas cards you get from your friends this holiday season. Or you can make it with just a small amount like I did. This is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. So, now you have two ways to build a Christmas tree, which I hope you will. Thank you so much for being part of my elf engineering project. I am Chief Elf Holly, and I hope I'll see you next time right here. Bye-bye.